So we're here with uh, Mel Graff, Executive Director of Athletics at Johnson & Wales, standing in front of a beautiful cat it that uh, for the first time you will begin a season with. Uh, what has it meant to have this out in front of uh, probably the most prominent location in Athletics? I hope so. Well, it's incredible, Jamie. First of all, what it does for the culture and the community of the entire campus. It's really become like a rallying point of pride. I mean, it's it's right there, the, the tenets of the Wildcat Way, pride, courage, character, community. And even though we've had it for, you know, less than a year now, you know, my window is right up here in the in the Wildcat Center. And I'm telling you, to this day and almost every day, you can see families and current students and prospective students and alumni sort of centering around around it to, to have their pictures taken. Talk a little bit about last season and how well Wildcat Athletics uh, were on the field Ooh, and in the courts. We had an incredible year uh, last year in Wildcat Athletics, almost unprecedented. We'll start with four great Northeast Athletic Conference championships in men's soccer, men's cross country, women's softball, and women's basketball. So for women's basketball, it was a first in program history. For women's softball, they also went on to win our first ever NCAA game on the women's side. We had three coaches of the year, players of the year, rookies of the year, goalies of the year, and a, a national All-American in the sport of wrestling. So it was just an incredible year in competition for Wildcat Athletics. Every time we come down here, we talk about what a nice spot it is down here in the water, and you have this great, great sprawling opportunity to play with all these fields. Uh, how gratifying is it to be such an integral part of what is happening here at Johnson Wales? It's incredible, not just for me, but for our 500 student athletes, 24 intercollegiate varsity programs. And you mentioned the water. We're about to go and launch our inaugural season in women's rowing, which is huge for us. We're adding women's ice hockey this year. Scott's Miracle Grow um, Outdoor Athletic Complex is just what it's brought to this institution as a place of spirit and affinity and culture for students to rally around, whether it's a, a varsity sport, intramurals, or club sport, is just a fantastic um, venue for us by all means. And what does the future hold in terms of uh, some of the build out? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think a couple things. You know, to fit with our strategic plan for growth in athletics, we're looking at pursuing some opportunities and perhaps adding track and field as our next program in the coming years. Give us the opportunity to maybe bring in 50 to 60 new student athletes and continue to grow enrollment. On the facilities side, uh, you know, something that we're pursuing, it's not uh, in design yet, but is the possibility for a new Wildcat Arena, like a 3,000 seat surround championship arena, which would give us a tremendous place, one of the best in Division Three, certainly in the Northeast, if not nationally, to compete in our indoor sports of men's and women's basketball, men's and women's volleyball, and wrestling, but more, more importantly, a place in the current Wildcat Gymnasium for our students to continue to grow opportunities in intramurals, recreation, club sports, fitness and wellness, and that's really where the need is. So we're, we're pursuing some exciting opportunities for the future, for sure. Stay on, Jay. One, two, three. Oh.